Welcome back to another episode of DBD Myths Busted. This week we'll be looking at DBD's newest chapter, All Things Wicked, or the, for the better YouTube title, Unknown and Sable Ward Myths Busted. Let's crack on, shall we? Let's get right into it. Invocation Weaving Spiders breaks the initiator, not the completer. This one was submitted by both Dr. Duck Duck 3216 and K Caden Freely 3823. I don't know why I struggled with those names. Invocation Weaving Spiders will make you broken and injured on completion. But what if you start the invocation and then leave someone else to finish it? Who is hit with the penalty? Unforeseen's Terror Radius will trigger Terror Radius perks. This one was submitted by Schmuck McGee 7294 Unforeseen applies a Terror Radius to a generator when you damage it. But does this work with perks such as Stakeout, which gains a token when you're in the killer's Terror Radius? Okay, I'll teleport away to one of my other guys. I am away. You can create two terror radiuses with unforeseen and dark devotion. This one was submitted by Stamp Y6506. Okay, so how about pairing unforeseen with dark devotion, which transfers your terror radius to the obsession for 30 seconds whenever the obsession loses a health state? <laughs> Lines get rid of the unknown's hallucinations. This one was submitted by J.C. Mooney. The unknown periodically spawns hallucinations. Survivors can walk up to hallucinations and dispel them. But what happens if you try to blind a hallucination? Okay, so I think this one is interesting because uh, people are pairing the unknown with insidious, which grants you undetectable after standing still for two seconds. And you look pretty much identical to a hallucination. If this doesn't work to dispel, which I'm assuming it won't, this might still be good for telling who isn't, like whether or not that actually is the killer in front of you or if it is a hallucination i'm just interested in seeing whether it like blinds the hallucination or not strength in shadows stacks with botany knowledge this one was submitted by industrial rm strength in shadows allows you to self heal at 60 percent speed when in the basement botany knowledge increases healing speed by 50 percent but is there a difference when taking these two together Strength in Shadows stacks with self-care. This one was submitted by... Oh, he's that fellow. Okay, so how about self-care, which allows you to self-heal at 35% of the normal speed. Invocation Weaving Spiders can cause all seven gens to be completed. This one was submitted by Brave Conscript, Fragile Essence 9376, and Sir Dog Men. Look at that. Look at that profile picture. <laughs> uh, so I've had a few people request this, and I've also seen a few people bat it away by correctly saying when the exit gates are powered, all generators are shown as being completed. However, what we can do is see if all the generates highlight on completion, and then we can know that seven generators have actually been completed. I'm also interested in seeing if this causes any weird behavior or bugs, because I imagine the game is set up for five gens to be completed, not seven. There'll probably be some sort of fail safe in place to prevent seven gens from getting completed. So it's quite an interesting one. Fits the series. Let's take a look. Oh, none of the gens lit up. Oh, that's so light. Blocked 
generators gain charges from invocation weaving spiders. This one was submitted by Jack the Cat 2489 and Soulblade 39YT. Invocation weaving spiders will give 15 charges to every generator on the map when completed. I've just established that. What, why am I reading that out again? These are in the wrong order. <laughs> well, if you didn't know for the last myth, now you know. So that's what that does. Uh, but will this count towards blocked generators? To make this interesting, we'll pit it against the Omrio perk, Merciless Storm, which whenever a generator is repaired to 90%, gives survivors continuous difficult skill checks. Failing any of those skill checks will block it for 20 seconds. So we may well see a completed blocks generator here if this works. Uh, very interesting. So this is a bit of a tough one. Yes, the generator gained charges, but no, it didn't complete. At first, I thought that perhaps block generators outright can't be completed. So it halted at around 99% progress because after all, Merciless sort of Storm works on gens at 90% and Weaving Spiders adds 15 charges, which is 16.67% of a generator's full potential. But we can clearly see in the very last frame before the gen is blocked that the failed skill check took off the regular amount of progress. When we recorded this, I was under the impression that the failed Merciless Storm skill check would not apply a regression penalty, but clearly this isn't the case. Uh, a failed skill check removes 10% of the gen's progress, which means that we should be around 96.67% complete after the gen is unblocked, and that looks about right to me. Uh, I'm content with the myth being proven correct, because it did gain progress even though it was blocked. Uh, as sad as it is that we didn't get to see if the gen could be complete and blocked simultaneously. All right, so there you have it, another eight DBD myths busted. Returning to this series, it really bothers me that I called it myths because these aren't really myths, they're just kind of questions about mechanics. And I know I've said that several times before, but I keep getting comments about it and you're right, but I'm not going to rename the series 30 episodes in. So they're myths, shut it. A huge, phenomenal thank you to the hero that is Tiny Man for helping with this video. I expected the myth testing to take around 20 minutes and that's what I told him, but we spent well over an hour recording footage for this and it was a nightmare to get right. So huge. Huge, huge props to him for sticking it out with me, even though it's a painfully boring process, even when it's a quick in and out jobby like most videos are. As always, if you have a suggestion for this series, please leave it in the comments with the word myth somewhere in what you post. I literally just go onto my comments tab on YouTube Studio and search myth when I'm sourcing these. So yeah, a big, big thank you to my patrons, Sylvan, Nova Keck, Lilith, Alucard, and Channel Manager, J -J 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 -J. Chipstar878, along with YouTube members, Nova, Housie, Chipstar878 again, and Meeblo. For early and dad free access to videos along with some other stuff from time to time, considering joining on one of those platforms. This morning I posted a new seven minute song I've been working on and some info on upcoming projects over onto Patreon. I'll typically post something somewhat interesting at least once a week, so uh, if you head over there then you can get access to that stuff, or if you don't care, that's fine as well. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.